In this Microsoft Teams training video, I'm going to focus in on the flexibility Microsoft Teams provides users in relation to changing their call settings. So you navigate towards your icon, choose settings, and call settings. In the case of what you're seeing here, we can see that calls ring only at the individual, but that could be changed to ring at any number of options, delegates, call group, or an external phone number. If the call is unanswered, it goes to voicemail, and it goes to voicemail after 20 seconds, which is the default. So we can see that any of these can be changed, and instead of going to voicemail, I can have that going through to my PA, or delegate, um, etc. Configuring voicemail, some new, quite good functionality back into Microsoft Teams. We can either record a greeting, in other words, you use your voice, or you can use text-to-speech, um, and in which case you've got a custom greeting and an out-of-the-office greeting. So the call answering rules that apply here is that mine is set to let the caller record a message. I could also have the option for them to record a message and transfer out, or play a message, simply uh, hang up. So very, very flexible um, from that side. We can see that we've got a number of languages uh, supported. Here again are our text-to-speech options, which I discussed. And you can decide at what point you're playing the out-of-office greetings. Are you out of the office with an auto-reply? Or do you maybe have an event on? So that's the voicemail settings. Um, lastly, you can go and change your um, ringtones for, you know, whether you're answering a, a, a delegated call or your own calls, etc. Uh, and lastly, call queues. So you've got the ability to log in and log out of what you might know as a hunt group. Uh, and it's just a simple case of on and off. So that's really the call settings in a nutshell. Very powerful.